Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Starter Camp checking in one time for the one time, and this is another Dirty Daily exclusive. I got the homie T Wo from Dalton, Alabama checking in. T Wo, what's good, brother? What's going on with you, my dog? How man? you feel? <sighs> Feeling good, bro. Feeling we're really at the good. end of the pandemic. You think you feel like we're like we got able to get outside and mingle? We may not be doing this at the radio station, but yeah. we're we're able to you know face to face see each other. You don't have to do the Zoom interviews all the time no more. So, what's up? How does it feel to be back outside for real, for real? Or have you been outside the whole time? Shit, I've been. I ain't. It wasn't no pandemic for me, man. It wasn't no Corona for me. I might have caught it. I might have did, man. I've been out here, man. I ain't right. even lie. I've been out here, man. How was? How was? How was it like dealing with, you know, the restrictions in Dope, like in Alabama? How does? How does? Because I, I never realistically went. I went to. Shit, it wasn't. It ain't as serious as it is down here in Atlanta. You know, we had to have a mask or whatever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But other than that, it wasn't really that serious to me. Like they shut down places for like you know last year. About when that first when the first car hit it, places were shut down for about two three months. But those didn't take that shit serious, man. I'm full down that country, bro. Tell yeah. Them. So like they had parties and clubs was open and all that. Stuff Everything going on. open. Oh man, Corona. Yeah. All that, bro. Them folks doing it. <laughs> right. That's so, crazy. So like how how did you? Like, how did you find yourself coming back and forth to Atlanta? Like, like oh, see, my auntie, like, I got family. I got more family down here than I do in Adolphin, believe it or not. My aunt, like, she own club. You know, you ever heard of Up Lounge? Downtown? Up Lounge? Yeah. yeah, my auntie, she own. That's her club. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? I used to come down here about three, four years ago to work, trying to make some money, like, at the front door with her stepson, my cousin. I used to just uh, help him search people. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got your money, if you ain't got uh, your ID, charge of 20 extra, just, Maybe 1500 you know what I'm saying? One day off my club, way back when I went having, but you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's, that. And that's how you basically kind of like started to find your way into the club life of, you know what I mean? Like growing up or was well, you already in the club? At yeah, I was, I was in the club young for real. Like my brother, like my brother was out there. Like my brother, he went to prison when he got out. Like I was up under him. So like whatever he did, I was with him every day. I was right. with my brother Pop. See what I'm saying? He on too, he was young, going to the club, doing his thing. So we was just like, man, in Dothan, man, that shit, smiling. That shit, buddy. That shit, How many just, clubs are in Dothan? Shit. You got Escape, Space, I mean, Eight on the Break, uh, I Manage. You got about, there's a lot of clubs, man. There's about like 10 clubs, but. Right. It's not like Atlanta. Of course, not, not Atlanta. Nothing. Clubs on every corner. So, like, you, you really established your your ground breaking in Dalton, or was it kind of like mixture of both? Between yeah, Dalton. Yeah, and Dalton. Dalton is, I'm born Dalton and raised sure. in Dalton. Yeah, I'm born and raised down in Dalton, Alabama. But I love it now. Like it's like a second home. I can't lie. I love it. So who who would you say first really kind of discovered your music? Dalton. Yeah, Dalton. Okay. But Atlanta, like when I posted on Instagram, they loving it too. I ain't gonna lie. Right. Instagram showed me Dothan. I mean, you know how I'm coming from home, you got, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I love Dothan, you know what I'm saying? That's my home, that where I'm from, but like, you know how that be, man. But right. when I post it on Instagram, it's like they show more love than woo woo. But I mean, I ain't tripping, man. Love on the gram is different from the love in real life. <laughs> you know how that shit is. <laughs> I know how it goes. <laughs> but okay, so like, tell me how you got to where you are now. Like, you know what I mean? You, 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 you came up in Dothan, you've been going back and forth to Atlanta. Like, what was the inspiration behind a lot of the music, or just the music in general that you've been putting out? Like, just my grind, my struggle when I came from. My grandma, for real, my grandma, my backbone, my love. You know what I'm saying? Like, she a hard working grandma, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with these females, like, you know how females is, like, how they want you to whoop the whoop. Like, but my grandma, like, if you can't love me like my grandma do, like, I don't want you, but my grandma love me, but you're a talk, like, they're for her. You know what I'm saying? So she gave you, I guess basically she gave you the upbringing that she you gave me like if my grandma, cause she got arthritis, if she can wake up, go to go to work every morning, and get some money, anybody can, bro. My grandma, I can't lie, but she the whole thing. Right. So she really taught you morals. My grandma. I mean, so like now that you, now that you, of course you do this for her, but now that you're like really in a place where you can put people on, and you was telling me about another artist that you were working with, uh, what was his name? Pop, young pop. That is my brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. How how does how does it feel now that you're able to really like not only just be in a place of recognition, but then also be able to put see that was it was that was really my bigger that was really what I was gonna do. I was gonna, huh? Yeah. Come on, this little pop right here, man. Come on, P, man. And my brother right here, man. 
they were really, they were really, they were really supposed to win on. Like I really gonna put the money, cause like, man, I'm the humblest. I'm humblest. It's Neil Collins, Slat Hunter, man, my other brother, man. Yeah. You feel me? Call him during the interview. I don't know if I should answer or not. No, you can answer everything. You feel me? But yeah, though, Neil, I'm, on, I'm doing my interview right now. What's going on? What you want to say? Where you at? I'm right here doing my interview right now. What you want to say? How you doing right now? Right yeah, man, now. tell them fuck what we piping, man. Tell them what's going on, man. On the camera way. Man, yeah, matter of yeah, fact, man. come to come to FaceTime. You got your, you got, you got, you right. I mean, Man, get on FaceTime, man. Just tell them piping shit right here on the FaceTime. <laughs> it's the real deal. Answer the FaceTime, Neil. I don't know. I'm calling the one you on now. I'm FaceTime you right now. Hold on. Yeah, man. I need a hunch up, man. For real, man. Yeah, they're my brother right here, man. Real talk. Put, what you got to say to him, Slack? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said he made 200 in the last month, man. <laughs> you, know well, you, you just not getting out the plane back from Miami? Yeah, I'm getting out the plane right now. I'm in the I'm in Millie, man. Pull up. You might can catch it. Where y'all at? We at the Millie. Top floor. Pull up, bro. I got to finish. Y'all yeah, in the Emily? Yeah, we at the top floor. Just call him, man. Call, call uh, social. Yeah, it's dope. Right, but it's, it's dope. I mean, that's the see. That's the thing. Like, I like to see that because the authenticness of how your come up is is gonna mm -hmm. be televised anyway. You know yeah, what I mean? for sure. For sure. The time of like a lot of stuff that you get to see behind the scenes is what people want to see. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, um, I love to see that you putting, you know, young pop. Yeah, this is like, right? Lil like little pop, little pop, pop. Yeah. I love to see that you like put this, him in a position of, you know what I mean, recognition as well. For sure, because that's what my whole thing was, because like, I'm not a rapper, like, honestly. I wasn't a rapper, you know what I'm saying? But, like, he was the rapper, like, he's so hard. He's been in the studio two, three years grinding, bro. Like, okay. I just yeah, had the Rising just, shows and shit. Yeah. I just had the money, you know what I'm saying, to back it up. But we went in the studio one night, just high, drank, good perk, went in there, made stash highs, and that bitch went stupid. Nah, like, man, every time I'm up in there, <laughs> hey, man, it get played. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. Get played. So, so now that you're in a position to do this stuff, like, okay, so you being being that you kind of like did some songs, got yourself out there. What's one thing that you really, really want to gain out of this music industry? Like, what's one thing that you really want to? What's one of the biggest goals that you have to be? Well, man, I don't even really care about the fame. I don't care my fake card good. I don't even care about the fame. I don't care about the cameras. You know. Is that the wealth? You know what I'm saying? They were doing it for my people. You know what I'm saying? Back home in the country, ain't nothing going on. But going to jail, you know what I'm saying? A little trapping, whatever going on. That's everywhere though. You get what I'm saying? Scamming, D boy brought that there. You get what I'm saying? Wasn't nothing like that going on. It's only a couple handful of folk that get money. Right. And we a handful of them. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So we're like, come on, man. You might well do something, man. What you gonna go do? Get you a nine to five? That ain't what's going on. That ain't what's going on where I'm from. You work check, check for what, man? You got big cities like this, man. This currency went up, man. Yeah, you folks sure. getting money so easy, man. You think I'm gonna get me a nine to five? So so let's get to your project. I appreciate you for even joining sure. me, man. But we definitely go, we definitely go chat in with you for sure. For sure. But um, uh, your project, your project dropping this this upcoming month. Uh, what's the title of it? Uh, Before the fame. Before the fame. Okay. What what made you come up with that title? Cause man, I just did a lot of stuff. Like I've been seeing rappers do. You know what I'm saying? I did it before the fame, you know what I'm saying? But like, I ain't, I came from that, so like, if somebody do come with a deal, woo the woo for T, like, it gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really say M, cause like, what I'm having now, I ain't gotta woo the woo, get something, I mean, get a chain, woo, cause I, would, I went about my own chain, wife, but just let wife, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't really signing for no chain or nothing like that, but I gotta be set for life, my grandma gotta be set, my little baby gotta be straight, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gotta be straight, my family, my people, everybody gotta be straight. The whole coming game. with me too, you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. See, I think too, what a lot of people don't realize is like, like once you get to a point of of your own status, right? You don't need another co-signer or a label to really kind of like push you forward. You really don't. Um, what what's what's you well you said of course an M that would be the number that you would sign for. What would be like that's the highest number or is that the lowest number? Nah, that's just like if because I came from Dothan, Alabama, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I say. A million dollars, somebody come with me with a million dollars, bro. I'm saying, bro, because I ain't not to anybody, though, not just anybody. Like, you got to be, you know what I'm saying? 
the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be genuine. Genuine, real, I know you fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? You ain't just gon', you know what I'm saying? If we get everything straight, I sign, but other than that, bro, I can just, cause I don't really rap, like pop the rapper, you know what I'm saying? I can just keep doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? And support him. You know what I'm saying? But I really want, that's what I'm doing it for, like you, that's what we do for the, the money, like, you know what I'm saying? I love money, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get me an M, I sign me an M, you know what I'm saying? The right fake card, man, I sign 250, man. I know how to invest, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 250, man, we going up. Your fake card great with me, man, I know. This this set person, hey man, I know who he is. Fake car good, money good. I'm a great rapper, man. I ain't just gonna say a good rapper. I'm a great rapper, for sure. Been doing it, man. I really don't think nobody really as tough as me in the city. I ain't just got the big head. So I why, fought a lot of things. Let me ask you this: So why is it like that was one of the questions I really wanted to ask you? So why is it so hard? Because we always see, you know, like the Carolinas, like I was telling you before. Mm -hmm. We see the Carolinas, we see Florida, we see Atlanta, we see Memphis. But why is Alabama always the city? That's not really getting the great. So you got that beat yourself? Because you got, you got, okay, you got big homies that supposed to be with money that won't even put it behind young. You know what I'm saying? They want to put it behind themselves. Keeping the real man, CEO, members or whatever, don't want to sign nobody 20 something, 30, 40 plus, man. They want somebody that's 18 to 24. Keeping the real, you can't be no grown man, send on no grown man, what do that? I already been in prison, did this and that. You got a couple people that will learn. Well, he probably was family to this man before he even got signed. They had time. You know what I'm saying? Man, nobody finna just come get no grown man, man. That ain't going on. You don't never just see no 40, 30, 30 or something y'all, man, get signed for nothing. That ain't what's going on. It's a lot of niggas like that in the city. Got money, they just too old. But get what? They don't want to put it in there like no route. They don't believe in They still investing their money in this and that. Packs, uh, you know what I'm saying? Bro, basically, like basically bro, that our city is just outdated, bro. Like I love my city today, bro. You know what I'm saying? I do, but it's just outdated. Bro. You see the trend is still late, yeah, man. Still, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's I a couple people that's on beat, man, but everybody still want to be behind, man. It's a on real nigga. It's a real niggas in every side of town. Not not just a lot of them, but it's a couple of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? I fuck. It's some real OGs on the east and the west and the side, but bro. Some of them ain't it, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. But it's some real ones now. It's some real ones now. No kids, and they know who they is. Right.